Hiya, sexy biscuits. Welcome back into the Steam Deck. Last time I made a video on this was yesterday. We played Kingdom Come Deliverance, and I asked you if you wanted to see anything running on the Steam Deck. So today, I wanted to test a couple of different games, including The Witcher 3. You'll see on the thumbnail what games are going to be in this video. Uh, but without further ado, um, let's hop into... Uh, the Witcher 3. I want to give you a quick look at my settings. Uh, we currently have NVIDIA Hairworks turned off. Uh, V-Sync is off as well. Um, number of characters is set to high. Basically everything is high on here and it runs great from what I've seen so far. So here we are inside The Witcher 3. Um, I'm going to quickly um, turn on performance so we can see what exactly this is running at. Uh, so if I was to go to level one, the game is currently set to um, 40 hertz. So if you can see any kind of like shimmering on the screen, I don't know if you can make that out, uh, but that is the refresh rate um, because of course the camera's recording at 60. The screen is running at 40 hertz, which is why you kind of get that shimmer effect uh, like on old TVs when you tried recording them. As you can see, solid 40, it doesn't drop like at all. I'm incredibly impressed by how well this game runs. Uh, we can uh, get out my weapon here. We can hit and, and do all the cool moves and stuff. The fact that this game is running everything on high and it looks this good. Like this is absolutely gorgeous on this screen. I'll do a quick test and I will turn off the frame limiter and put the system back to 60 Hertz. And you will notice that that shimmer disappears. The game runs okay. It's not a solid 60. It kind of goes between 60 and 45, hence why I would generally recommend setting this to a solid 40, because then you get that smooth gameplay compared to it going up and down all the time. And that absolutely gorgeous sunset over there as well is amazing. So with fire effects and stuff, the game looks absolutely great still. It doesn't dip the performance that much. I think it dipped it down to about 49 then. I was thinking maybe we could try and take Roach out. Okay, we're going to go full speed here. And currently start at 51, 48. 45 is our new lowest. Oh, 40. There you go. 37, 29. That was a bit all over the place, but that was loading a new area. Um, 39, 37 is our main lowest because I wouldn't generally count that 25. That was, that was a one-off, I think. Um, so we're going to have a fight here. Okay, I'm just going to basically beat these guys up. Set these guys on fire. Ah, <laughs> oh, what's that? You're dying. Oh, oh no. Uh, you can see me in the reflection. Hello, you all right? As you can see, like details and stuff are absolutely incredible. Um, you got a roach there. Looks absolutely great. There's a little bit of uh, fan noise happening right now. Only a tad, not like a lot. But as you can see, if you like The Witcher 3, you're not going to have any issues playing this on this system whatsoever. Um, this obviously runs better than the Switch port. I'm also thinking that isn't the Xbox Series X and PS5 version still set to 30 FPS? So in theory, yes, this does run better than those systems. The only thing, obviously, is resolutions drop down due to the screen size on this device. But uh, apart from that... If you want to play The Witcher 3 on the go, this is more than viable. So one thing I was asked to do was to take this thing outside to see how bright it can get and the reflections. Um, it's not great. <laughs> if you want to play this outside, I recommend going for the more expensive one, which comes with a glare-resistant screen. This one, unfortunately, is very glossy, and you get quite a lot, as you can see there, of reflections um, to the point where this is literally not viewable. If I was to kind of hold it towards myself right now, as you see there, it looks a little bit better if I was to kind of move it away from the light. But even then, that is max brightness and it's still not very viewable. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend using this on a bright day. Maybe an overcast day, because right now, this is kind of normal average weather, I would say. Um, so if you're looking to play this, I would recommend playing it on a, on a very cloudy day. <laughs> So I wanted to talk about something quite interesting about the Steam Deck. Valve has a list of verified games that definitely run on the Steam Deck. Um, there's also a middle ground where some things don't work, and then there's the unplayable games. Now, a couple of those, to be honest, I've played and they work fine. Now, Fallout New Vegas isn't down as fully verified, and that's because it opens this EXE every time you start the game, and this basically allows you to go in here and set up the different settings for the game. I've got everything set to max. 
and we can then go for this. Now, the only thing, you can't use the controller. And that's why it's not fully verified for Steam Deck. Uh, all you have to do is just hit play. And that's it, there you go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> now, this is completely unmodded. I need to work out how to mod. I know you can. I'm thinking Vortex, you could probably download from Nexus Mods and it would in theory work, but there's some little workarounds you kind of have to do. Uh, but in terms of like the files that you can dump inside the game, that should all be normal. So this is in theory completely moddable. Okay, two things. A, it's weird playing this because obviously it's unmodded and I don't generally like playing New Vegas unmodded. Uh, the second thing is I can't play this game properly without keyboard and mouse. This was the first PC game I properly put time into and I learned how to play this game on keyboard and mouse. Um, so playing with a controller, it just feels off. <laughs> but that's not the Steam Deck's fault, that's my fault. Also, this was one of the first games I ever played on YouTube. Um, I absolutely adore New Vegas. Now, I'm going to say right now, I'm not going to bother changing the refresh rate on this, just because I know for a fact it runs past 60. Um, there is absolutely zero issue um, with Fallout New Vegas. As you can see, I've got Gyro activated, which is really nice. Um, and we can then uh, leave this house here and see what's going on in Good Springs. Maybe Sunny Smiles is here. I don't actually think I've met Sunny Smiles yet. So let's go and uh, let's go and visit her in this game save. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Ah, oh, Sunny Smiles, you're right. Um, I need to get to Prim. Can you suggest a route? Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is a town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. I heard that Doc Mitchell said that you could teach me how to survive in the desert. Yeah. I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they've done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Yeah, so this is obviously right at the start. This is Good Springs. Um, I love this game. You know that this is my favorite game of all time. Um, I absolutely adore New Vegas. Uh, so the fact I can play this portably is um, incredible, uh, to say the least. It is honestly mind-blowing. Uh, I've always wanted this. It's something I always thought was really stupid, why they never released this on Switch. Because it would obviously run super easily. I don't understand why they haven't done it yet. Due to the fact that Skyrim is on there and that uses the same engine, it would be quite easy for them to do. Um, but yeah, Fallout New Vegas runs absolutely flawlessly. Um, and it comes with all the features that you'd expect. You can go in here and change every setting you want to. Um, uh... <laughs> Wait, hang on. Um, oh no, is my Steam Deck dead? Did Fallout New Vegas kill my Steam Deck? I wouldn't be surprised. Hang on. I can hear it still. Hang on. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> it did. It killed my Steam Deck. Oh, you bastard. Okay, this is the first time I've had issues with this. I hope that's not like a, a running thing. I don't think it's going to be. I think that's a one-off. I did have Fallout New Vegas crash on here last night, um, but you've got to remember it's Fallout New Vegas. And uh, unless you can mod it with the patches and stuff, generally Fallout New Vegas crashes on every PC, especially Windows 10. Um, so that's not the Steam Deck's fault. That's literally the game. But I, I don't know why it completely killed the screen though. That was weird. Fallout 4. This game is incredible. I love Fallout 4. I love the base building in Fallout 4. It's my favorite thing to do in that game. I absolutely adore it. Let's jump in here and I'm going to show you how well this runs because honestly it's kind of mind-blowing. Uh, so this obviously has the same um, thing as uh, Fallout New Vegas where it starts up so it currently isn't completely verified even though it's literally just a quick tap of your finger and the game there you go. Should work absolutely fine. Uh, now you can always plug in uh, a USB-C adapter um, to run into HDMI because as you can see on the top there, it's got USB-C. Just plug in a little dongle and you can plug in USB ports. You can plug in HDMI. It's absolutely incredible. Everything you'd expect to work on a PC in theory should work. It's Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountains. I'm gonna get a copyright. Uh, okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's get out of there. Older than the trees. Country road. Oh, <laughs> it's gone. Um, so something really cool I want to show off. Yes, the mod store works. You can download mods straight from the game, uh, and this works flawlessly from what I've seen. I've got quite a few different things installed. 
Uh, I've got the patches um, downloaded. I've got infinite companion ammo, which is nice. I've got um, everyone's best friend, so you can take dog meat with you, as well as a companion. Uh, I've got different hairstyles. Uh, Tales from the Commonwealth, one of the best mods for Fallout 4. Um, Ellie's Armor Compendium, like so many things here. And you can just fill up your Steam Deck with Fallout 4 mods if you wanted to. Um, so yeah, that works great. I've even got the TARDIS on here and an alternate start mod, which is fantastic. Um, but I can jump into the game and we're gonna go back to where I was recently in a new save. And here we are. Uh, so it, the game is currently running at around 60. Um, I'd obviously recommend, again, with every game on here. I would generally just leave on the 40 hertz um, update because it's fantastic. Um, but as you can see, the game hits 60 almost all the time. There's there's obviously some dips down when you look into more busy areas. Um, but it's running absolutely great. And you can see my character there. So I can walk around, I can shoot and everything. That doesn't really dip the system at all whatsoever. And it just works. <laughs> It just works. Uh, it's honestly incredible. Oh, that was what I was supposed to show you. I was supposed to show you what this is running. I'm pretty sure everything's set to high. Yeah, it's that good. I I'm honestly a little bit mind blown. Th this game works fantastically and it's more than playable. You can sit there and build bases and when you're not like in a town like this, the frame rate is a solid 60. So if you're building up Sanctuary, it will be a solid 60 the entire time. I am honestly blown away. Now, of course, you could also download the Optimized Texture Pack, uh, which is available on the Mod Store, and that'll make the game run even better, uh, which is mind-blowing. Uh, there are a load of fixes you can do for Fallout 4, and that is all doable with this. So Fallout 4 is a pass. Um, it is absolutely Fantastic, and for someone who loves this game, I'm so happy. <laughs> so I wanted to end the video by showing you something that people generally don't show, and that is there is a full desktop mode. So if I was to switch to the desktop quickly, give it a couple of seconds, and then, boom, full PC. You can use the trackpad. Um, this has all your files and everything here, so you can literally open everything up and transfer files from what you need. You can plug in USB sticks. Uh, the, the idea of this is absolutely incredible. And the amount of stuff you've got on here, you can obviously delete all these little shortcuts it's created. But I think an update just came in. Because yes, you can update the system on the desktop mode and through the Steam store as well. There's like different updates you can get your hands on. Including, I don't know if you can see it at the top there, Dolphin Emulator. This is an emulation beast. And if you want to see me do a video on emulation, uh, then let me know, because I will more than happily do it. It runs GameCube games flawlessly. Um, anything up to PS2 is playable on here, which I think is absolutely great. So there you go. That is a kind of a, a quick rundown of a couple of games. What else do you want to see? What else do you want to see me play? I may do a video soon on Grand Theft Auto 4 um, and games like Skyrim. We haven't done that yet, and Oblivion. Um, but yeah, tell me what you want to see. And we'll, uh, we'll get on that. I was also going to pick up Assassin's Creed Odyssey as well on Steam. Uh, now, you can, in theory, download Uplay. Uh, I tried doing it last night and I couldn't, unfortunately. It was really quite difficult to do. So, unfortunately, I have to buy the game on Steam separately. So, I'm going to have to do that tonight um, so I can actually play it through Steam. But apart from that, this is absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, comment down below. Tell me what you want to see. But until next time, that's me. Ouch. Bye, guys.